Hi everyone, I'm James Lewis. Welcome to 10 for Tech. On this episode, we want to take a few minutes to introduce you to some new webcam technology that we just installed in classrooms around campus. Now, as you walk into the classrooms, you're gonna see a new webcam on top of the monitors at the teaching stations. Now, these are generic webcams. They're not going to follow you around the room. They're not uh, voice activated. They're not facial recognition. So it's not going to track you as you walk around the room. The camera is only going to see whatever you point in that direction. So the camera can turn 360 degrees. So you can turn it towards your students. You can turn it in a direction away from the teaching station that should pick you up within a few feet. And or if you desire, you can turn it to a whiteboard. Just know that it's going to be an angle and it's not going to be the best way to capture your whiteboard. And we're going to talk about that in another video coming up. One of the great things about this new webcam is that it has a microphone array in it. In total, there are four microphones on this camera. And the microphones are rated to pick up about eight meters, which is about 25 feet. This webcam really does work with just about any video conferencing software out there, WebEx, Skype for Business, Zoom, Microsoft Teams, and so on. Now, when you get ready to use your favorite software with this webcam, setting it up should be fairly easy. Whatever software you use should recognize the device automatically. So in WebEx, I'm gonna click on my settings. Now, once I get to my settings, I'm gonna adjust it for the speaker that's in the room. And again, this should automatically uh, be recognized. And for my microphone, I wanna make sure that the VDO 362C is, is the setting that's used for my microphone. And as you can see by me talking, I can see a little meters moving to let me know that my audio is working. And again, if I turn my camera on, my camera should be working with my audio as well. And the only thing I have to do is start my meeting and remote students should be able to join in and hear and see me via the video new webcam at the teaching station. Well, that wraps up this session of how to get started using the webcams in your classroom. If you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to the help desk and we'll get you the help that you need. Thanks for joining us. And remember, it's really not that hard.